Hello, I'm Juliette Sali. Well, in this week's edition of Investor Spotlight, we take a look at the struggling Chinese property sector and what it means for the outlook for iron ore and Aussie investors. China's property sector is facing mounting stress as developers struggle to service their enormous debt. In August, China Evergrande, one of the largest property developers in the country, filed for bankruptcy protection in the United States as part of a debt restructuring plan. China's biggest property developer, Country Garden, was also on the brink of collapse with debts totaling $11 billion, however appears to have won an 11th hour reprieve. But as many as 53 Chinese developers have collapsed in recent years. Investor anxiety about the property crisis has fueled a rout in Chinese developer dollar bonds and is impacting forecasts for Chinese economic growth. Global rating agency Moody's recently cut its 2024 economic forecast for China to 4% from 4.5%. A crisis in China's property poses a major risk to its post-COVID recovery. The Chinese government has announced a raft of measures to support the sector, which has provided some short-term relief to markets and investors. Well, iron ore prices are largely driven by the supply and demand picture from China. Recent property support measures from the Chinese government have sparked a rally in the metal price. However, it was just last month that Goldman Sachs predicted iron ore prices could enter bear market territory. This amid concerns China will ramp up cuts to its steel output while the physical market tips into surplus. The team at Goldman Sachs had forecast prices to average 90 US dollars a tonne for the remainder of 2023, which implies a more than 20% decline from the commodity's last high and meets the technical definition of a bear market. So what does this mean for the Australian property sector? Well, the latest core logic data showed the home value index rose 0.8 of 1% in August and Sydney home prices increased another 1.1%. Concern about the China property contagion has also weighed on the Aussie dollar, which makes our market look more attractive to foreign investors. Juai IQI Group data shows the Australian property market remains a key destination for Chinese property buyers suggesting our market could benefit from more offshore interest.